What's going on everybody? DYDX Jane also here and today we are going to do some unboxing from my Tavor crate. So I've got two boxes here. Let's just get right into it. Alright. Set this down here so I can see what I'm dealing with. So, first thing I got here, <clears throat> I've got the Noob from Odd 13 Brewing. Um, it's a pale ale, 6% um, from Colorado. Next up here, uh, from Foundation Brewing, I've got a Double Stone Jam Tart Fru Fruit Ale. Tart Fruit Ale. Um, looks pretty delicious. Not sure on the percentage on this one, but looks pretty good. Let's see here. Here's the other new ale. All right, next one is the Aloha Surfer, a modern IPA with pineapple and passion fruit. Uh, it's from Trophy Brewing. It's a 7.6% um, and it is brewed in North Carolina. Next up on the list, oh, this is a fun looking one. Pastry Archie? Nope, that's definitely not it. Down with the, yep. It's a strawberry cake cream ale. Um, it just looked delicious. It's uh, from 903 Brewery, um, or Brewers. Uh, if you've ever had anything from them, you know that they make absolutely delicious beer. And then here's another one from 903 Brewers. Uh, smoothie style goge, goge, goge ale. Um, and I actually think these two came together. Um, I don't think you're supposed to drink them together, but when I got them, um, it came as a two for one, so you bought them together um, at the same time. So I'll stick those together. Uh, next up, we have a Blackberry Cobbler. It is a Blackberry Sour Ale brewed with uh, graham cracker and lactose. It is an 8% and is made in Texas by Texans. So kind of a fun little art on there. Here we go. And then this one is What Even Is Blue Raspberry Anyways by Evil Twin uh, out of New York City. 7% sour, um, sour IPA uh, brewed with raspberry. So I have not had a sour IPA yet. So this will be a first for me. Another black red cobbler. Oh, I was wrong, sorry. So the uh, strawberry cake cream ale actually came separately. These were the two that came together. It was the strawberry pineapple mojito and the painkiller uh, slushy. These two came together. So next up is the 903 Brewers uh, smoothie style um, with pineapple, orange, and coconut. Um, so. 6.2%. So those two I will keep together. Do I have any cans left? Yes, I do. Got another noob. Then I here I have a Key Lime Smoothie IPA. And that is coming out of Michigan. It is a 7.2%. Uh, from their smoothie series. And then that's it for the first box with bottles or with cans. Um, so onto the bottles. Um, out of Silver City uh, Brewery, I have a quick stout. Uh, it's an 8% milk stout. And 
And then next up here, oh, I got the Maui Brewing, I want to say. Um, Imperial Coconut Porter, 9.4%. Uh, Cannot wait to try this one. And then here I've got another Eclipse Brew. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I have a, a few of the Eclipse Brews. Um, I really did enjoy the Basil Hayden version of this, um, but this is a 2019 Eclipse Barrel Age Imperial Stout. Um, it's the Old Trestle, um, and this is a 13.4%. This is probably one that I put away for a while. Next one up here, we have the Nut Crusher Peanut Butter Porter. That one comes out of Oregon. Uh, it's a 6%. Then this one, this one's just got a really fun color to it. Um, it's a 4.8% uh, grape and black currant. Um, let's see here. Berlin style um, Pinot Noir grape and black currant um, by Paris Brewing. And then here I have a 2019 barrel aged Darkling Imperial Stout um, aged in whiskey barrels. Uh, this is a 13.5%. So never had anything from them before um, in any of my Tavor crates I've had before. This is actually my third Tavor crate. Um, I know it seems very expensive, um, but when you think about it, uh, for any of you that buy barrel-aged beer especially, um, the total price is not that bad, especially considering that shipping is so cheap. Um, it's all you can buy for $14 uh, shipping. So if anybody wants to try it out, shoot me a message. Um, I'll give you my code, then you get $10 off, and I get $10 off. It's a win-win. Or if you just want to try it on your own, you don't want to use my code, that's fine. Alright, so, for the next box, um, we've got a bunch of uh, cans here. Um, the next one we got here is Fitbits. Um, it is a hazy IPA, um, and it comes out of Worldworks Brewing. 4.2%. And then, nope, another Key Lime Smoothie IPA. Another Key Lime Smoothie IPA. It looked really good, so I had to get a feel. And another Key Lime Smoothie IPA. And then, the next one is uh, DDH Pulp Daddy. It is a juicy, hazy New England IPA, um, Nectar of the Hop Gods. It's an eight percent, um, and I'm just getting, I'm just new into the IPA game. Um, I was always about the bur uh, bourbon barrel aged stuff. Um, then I slowly got into sour beers, um, and now I'm slowly trying to get into the uh, IPAs. Um, but it's a little difficult for me because I'm just not a huge fan of the really hoppy hit you in the face with a pine tree taste. So I'm trying, um, but that was actually it. Um, so thank you. I will post photos as well as um, more videos to come. So thank you for watching.